What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel and today's video we're going to be looking at Barracuda. She is currently the item shop. She is a rare outfit. She is part of the Saltwater Strike. She does come with two selectable styles. She does come with the backlane dive hazard. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Barracuda. Barracuda is again another diaper skin. I do like her color skins because it's very unique to the set itself and it actually looks very cool. She also has a selectable style which in my opinion is the better one of the two. She does have a mask on or a diving mask on which does have a fin above her head which is very cool. Barracuda is also a fish that is normally in the water so having this as a mascot for this outfit is actually very cool. Then she does come with the back in the dive hazard which again is not the best back thing we've seen but is unique to itself. It does have a very unique color scheme that we normally don't see in the battleship, so it has that going for it. Does she match her rarity? The only thing cool about the outfit itself is the little fish logo she does have on the side of the suit herself and in the back wing. Also, the mask is pretty cool, but other than that, the rest just falls a little bit too short. I do like the color designs of the skin, but we've seen diver skins even in the, this battle pass, and I just think it takes away from the skin. So what's my final rating for the Barracuda? I'm gonna have to give the Barracuda a 6 out of 10. Like I mentioned previously, just the whole diver thing in this game has played old. We even have a diver in this battle pass and I have to say he's a lot better than Barracuda. Barracuda does have a cool mask on and then she does have a very unique color scheme but still, it still falls a little bit short. Then you do have a back thing that is very forgettable. The only thing that separates this back thing from everything else is the curse scheme. But even at that, I just don't see myself using it other than for this review. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. For the first combination with the Barracuda, I am pairing it up with the Assassin Pack. The Assassin Pack is an all black back lane that does have guns inside of the back. It actually matches very good with the black aesthetics that the Barracuda does have and that's the main reason why I'm using this combination. For the harvesting tool of choice, we're going to be going with the Hook Slicer. The Hook Slicer does utilize the curse scheme of green and black very good. It actually is a very compact harvesting tool and it matches very well with this combination. And for the glider, I'm going with the Ion. The Ion glider does have that green and black curse scheme that I'm actually looking for this combination. It actually is very compact as well and very small so it doesn't obstruct your vision when you're descending to the battlefield. And for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Phantasm. The Phantasm utilizes a curse scheme that is similar to the skin color. It actually looks very good and matches very well with the aesthetics combination. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Neon Venom. The Neon Venom does have that green glow in the weapon wrap that is very unique but it matches very good. It looks very good and overall a very solid wrap. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with Barracuda with the mask on Edistyle, I am pairing it up with the Rogue Spider Shield with the black and green Edistyle. Now this Edistyle actually matches perfectly with the mask on Edistyle of Barracuda. It does have that creepy aspect to it that complements the mask very well. Also the colors are almost identical and that's the main reason why I'm utilizing it. And for the harvesting tool of choice we're going to be going with the fresh cut. The reason behind this harvesting tool is because of the simple nature of it and the curse scheme. It's almost identical to the back lane itself and the skin and that's the reason why I'm using it. For the glider, I'm going with the servo. The servo glider matches perfectly with this whole combination. The all green aesthetics with the black just looks very good and overall a very solid glider. And for the control, we're going to be going with the sit streak. The sit streak control is actually one of my favorite controls we do have in this game. The all green design of it just looks amazing and it matches very well with the whole aesthetics. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with code green. The code green does have a codex on it that looks very cool. It also has an animation that looks very cool and matches very well with the combinations of colors. So let's check out this combo.
for the last combination with Barracuda, I'm still using the mask on Edistealth and I'm pairing it up with the Air Tank. If you look closely, the Air Tank actually fits really well with the theme and color scheme of the skin. It does have that like that lime yellow green that complements the color scheme of the skin. It is also a tank so it matches very good with the suit she does have on. Then for the harvesting tool, we can be going with the dive knives. The dive knives just fits really well because it's a very simple harvesting tool, they're dual wooden and it just matches very well. And for the glider, we're going to be going with the Elite Recon with the default edit style with the glow on. The color schemes of the Elite Recon actually matches very well with the color schemes of the skin and the backlink. And for the control, we're going to be going with the waterfall. The waterfall control just makes sense because she is a diver after all. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Meowster Mine. The Meowster Mine does have that similar lime green curse scheme that just matches very well with the glider, the backlink, and the skin. So let's check out this combo. And for the first combination with the Dive Hazard, I am pairing it up with the Swamp Stalker. The reason behind this combination is because of the green curve scheme that matches very good together with both combinations. Then when you pair it up with the Harvesting Tool the Caliper, it is a match made in heaven. The Caliper is a very simple Harvesting Tool but it matches very well with the combinations of colors. Then for the Glider, I'm going with the Surefire. The Surefire Glider does have that green and brown curve scheme that has similar color schemes to the skin. It looks very cool, it makes a very unique sound when you open the glider in the battlefield and overall a solid pick. And for the control we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. The Spectral Essence is a very simplistic control but it fits with this combination. And for the wrap we're going to be going with the Riptide. The Riptide does have that military camo that the Swarm Stalker actually shares with the wrap. It also has that vibrant yellow curl scheme that just looks amazing and it matches very well with this whole combination. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination with the Dive Hazard, I am pairing it up with the Exord with the green Edistel. Now this combination actually fits very well. I was actually shocked how good it looked on the Exord simply because I really never used the Exord. But with the Exord with this backlink, it just looks really really good. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Psycho Bus Axis. The Psycho Bus Axis is a wasteland harvesting tool and it just makes sense for Exord to actually use these harvesting tools. They also have a lime green color scheme that just complements the skin and the backlink. For the glider of choice, we're going to be going with the glider. The wings of the glider itself has a similar color scheme to that of the harvesting tool and backlink. It actually matches perfectly and is, I'm actually shocked how good it actually looks. For the contra, we're going to be going with the Verilin flames. The Verilin flames actually have that green flames with purple that just look really good. I know the skin doesn't really have purple, but those green flames actually match really well that I couldn't let it pass. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the green toy. The green toy wrap does have a similar color scheme to that of the backlink and the skin. It looks very good, so why not? So let's check out this combo. Those are the three combinations I found so far for the Barracuda and the two combinations I found so far for the Dive Hazard. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos for fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, two Ds, all together. 
Each time you guys use my code near the Iron Shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and really help this channel grow. Also, if you like my YouTube channel, make sure to check out my Instagram. I post daily combos over there as well and they'll be in the description below. And for all my other social medias and discords, they'll be in the description as well. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.